Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode. Last time we talked about the amazing reasons why so many Black women are stepping into the exciting world of entrepreneurship. If you haven't seen that video, either click on the image above or check out the link in the description below. Today we're diving right in. It's time to turn that incredible idea of yours into a thriving business. This is episode two, and I'm calling it From Passion to Profit. Now, us Black women entrepreneurs, we come up with some amazing ideas. But before you jump in head first, there's a crucial step, validating your concept. This means making sure there's actually a market for your fabulous product or service and that people are willing to pay for it. Let's turn that passion project into a profitable reality. Welcome to Being Unbothered a resource for Black women who are tired of dealing with racism and discrimination and instead are living their lives unapologetically. All right, let's get into it. We all know Black women are crushing it in the entrepreneurial world, but here's the truth. With the challenges we face from limited access to capital to navigating a system that wasn't built for us, we can't afford to waste a dime or a minute on ideas that won't fly. Validation is our secret weapon. It's like doing a background check on your business idea before you invest your heart and soul and hard-earned cash into it. Imagine this, you're passionate about creating a new line of natural hair care products specifically formulated for black women with 4C hair. You pour your savings into developing a prototype and beautiful packaging, but before you launch, you decide to validate your concept. Through market research and focus groups, you discover that while the product itself is great, the price point is a bit too high for your target audience. Validation saves the day. You can now adjust your pricing strategy, maybe source alternative ingredients or even tailor your product line to cater to a specific need within the natural hair care market. See ladies, validation isn't just about confirming your idea is good, it's about making sure it's great for your specific market. It helps you avoid costly mistakes, refine your concept, and ultimately build a business that thrives. It's the foundation for turning your dreams into a sustainable and profitable reality. So how do we validate our genius like the black future CEOs we are meant to be? Let's break it down into three key steps, market research, niche down, and testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, let's get down to brass tacks on market research. This is all about understanding the why behind your business and the who you're trying to reach. But before you get overwhelmed, remember, market research doesn't have to break the bank. Here are some free and low cost ways to get the intel you need. Become a social media sleuth. Dive deep into online communities that cater to your target audience. So join YouTube channels dedicated to natural hair care if that's your niche, or follow relevant hashtags on TikTok and Instagram. See what problems people are discussing, what products they rave about or complain about, and what gaps exist in the market. Bonus tip. Many social media platforms offer basic analytics tools that can tell you more about the demographics of the people engaging with these communities. Next, free online surveys are your friend. Platforms like Google Forms and SurveyMonkey are free with basic features and allow you to create and distribute surveys to a wide audience. These surveys can be gold mines for understanding your ideal customer's pain points, buying habits, and brand preferences. Okay, but you might be asking, but who should I send these surveys to? Here are a few ideas. First is your existing network. Do you have an email list from a previous venture? Maybe you have a blog following or even a decent number of followers on social media? Reach out to your existing network and offer them a chance to shape your business by participating in your survey. And here's another bonus tip. Segment your email list or social media audience if possible. This allows you to target your survey to a specific group of people within your network, giving you more focused results. Next, tap into online communities. Remember those social media groups and online forums we talked about earlier? Many of these communities allow you to share your survey directly with members. Just be sure to follow the group's guidelines regarding self-promotion. 
Look for groups that cater to your target market. For example, if you're creating a meal prep service, target online communities focused on healthy eating or maybe busy professionals. And if you can, offer incentives. Nobody likes filling out long surveys for free. So offer a little something extra to encourage participation. This could be maybe a discount code for your future business, entry into a giveaway for a relevant product or service, or even a donation to a charity your target audience cares about. And here's a pro tip speaking of long survey questions. Remember to keep your surveys concise and engaging. Nobody likes a long-winded questionnaire. So aim for five to 10 minutes max and use a mix of question formats to keep it interesting. By utilizing these strategies, you can leverage the power of free online surveys to gather valuable customer insights and validate your business idea. Remember, the more targeted your audience, the more valuable the data you'll collect. So get creative and tap into the online communities where your ideal customers are already hanging out. Okay, so we spent a minute on surveys. Now we'll keep going into your who and your why by hitting on the power of online reviews. Don't underestimate the wealth of information available in online reviews. Read customer reviews of existing products or services in your niche. What are people loving? What are they missing? This can be a gold mine for identifying areas where your business can offer a unique solution. And here's another pro tip. When browsing related books on Amazon, be sure to check out the comments section. You'll often discover valuable feedback and insights that can inspire improvements for your business concepts. And one last tip for getting to know your who and your why is by networking. This can be virtually or in person. Connect with other Black women entrepreneurs in your industry, both online and offline. Join online forums or Facebook groups specifically for Black business owners. Attend local networking events or webinars focused on your target market. Talking to other hustlers can provide valuable insights into market trends, customer needs, and even potential challenges you might face. Remember, market research is an ongoing process. As your business grows, keep gathering customer feedback and adapt to market changes. By consistently staying in tune with your audience, you'll ensure your business remains relevant and continues to meet the needs of your community. Here's a quick example. Let's say your brilliant idea is a meal prep service specifically designed for busy Black professionals. Through online research and social media listening, you discover a common pain point. Many Black professionals struggle to find healthy, culturally relevant meal prep options that fill their dietary needs and budget. Now you have valuable insights to inform your business model. You can tailor your menu offerings to include soul food classics with a healthy twist and offer flexible pricing plans to cater to different budgets. By utilizing these free and low cost market research methods, you can gain a deep understanding of your target market and avoid costly mistakes down the line. You'll be well on your way to building a business that solves real problems for your community and achieving long-term success. Okay, moving on to step two, niche down. Become the queen of your microcosm. All right, now let's talk about niching down. You might've heard some folks say it's limiting that it restricts your potential customer base, but here's the thing, when it comes to building a successful black woman owned business, niching down is your secret weapon. It's about becoming the queen of your microcosm, the absolute go-to expert in a specific area within your market. Sure, going broad might seem really appealing at first. You think, why limit myself? I can cater to everyone. But here's the reality. A broad approach often leads to a scattered message and a diluted brand identity you end up being just another face in a crowded marketplace. Here's why niching down is a power move for Black women entrepreneurs. Targeted marketing and messaging. When you niche down, you can tailor your marketing and messaging to resonate deeply with a very specific audience. You understand their unique needs, their unique challenges, and their unique preferences. This allows you to create targeted marketing campaigns that are more effective and generate higher conversion rates. Become the authority figure. By focusing on a niche, you become the expert in your space. 
You build trust and credibility with your target audience. People see you as the go-to source for information and solutions to their specific problems. Stand out from the crowd. Let's face it, the business world is saturated. Niching down allows you to stand out from the generic competition. You're not just another bakery, you're the bakery that specializes in gluten-free vegan desserts made with traditional African-American recipes. This unique positioning makes you memorable and attracts a loyal customer base. But wait, doesn't niching down mean I'm limiting my income potential? Not at all. In fact, focusing on a niche can actually be more profitable. Here's why. Premium pricing. Because you're the expert in your niche, you can command a premium price for your products or services. People are willing to pay more for expertise and a solution that directly addresses their specific needs. Stronger customer relationships. By serving a well-defined niche, you can build deeper relationships with your customers. You understand them better, can anticipate their needs, and offer them a more personalized experience. This loyalty translates into repeat business and enthusiastic referrals. So how do you actually find your niche? Look inward. What are you passionate about? What skills and experiences do you have that are unique? What problems do you see in your community that you're uniquely qualified to solve? Remember, niching down doesn't mean being boxed in. There's plenty of room for creativity and growth within your niche. The key is to start with a focused approach, establish yourself as an authority, and then you can explore expanding your offerings within your niche over time. By embracing your niche and becoming the queen of your microcosm, you'll be well on your way to building a thriving, profitable business that empowers you and your community. Okay, moving on to step three, refine your hustle before your launch. All right, so you've researched your market and identified your niche. Before you invest a ton of money into inventory or a fancy website, let's validate your idea further by testing it on real people. This means talking to potential customers. Conduct focus groups, get feedback on prototypes, or even run a pre-sale campaign. See how people react to your idea, what features they value most, and if they're willing to pay your desired price. This feedback is pure gold. Use it to refine your concept, adjust your pricing strategy, and ensure you're on the right track to success. And because they can be so powerful, here are a few more details on focus groups. Focus groups are small group discussions led by a moderator or yourself. So you gather a handful of potential customers from your target audience and guide them through a conversation about your business idea, product prototype, or marketing message. Think of it as a live market research session where you get real-time feedback to refine your concept. Here are some ways to conduct a focus group on a small scale. First, tap into your existing network. Reach out to friends, family members, or colleagues who fit your target audience and see if they'd be interested in participating in a focus group discussion. Offer a small incentive like a gift card or discount for their time or even just snacks and drinks. Leverage online platforms. There are online communities and forums specifically designed for hosting focus groups. These platforms can connect you with potential participants who fit your demographic needs. Keep it casual. You don't need a fancy conference room. Host your focus group at a local coffee shop or even virtually over a video call. The key is to create a comfortable and relaxed atmosphere where people feel free to share their honest opinions. Focus on open-ended questions. So instead of asking leading questions, guide the conversation with prompts that encourage participants to share their thoughts and feelings. Here are a few examples. What are some features you would find most valuable in a product like this? Or how would you describe your ideal brand experience? By actively listening to the feedback from your focus group, you can identify areas for improvement, adjust your pricing strategy, and ensure your business idea resonates with your target market before you launch. 
Remember ladies, testing and refining your concept is crucial for building a successful business that stands the test of time. And remember, validation isn't a one-time thing. As your business grows, keep gathering customer feedback and adapt to market changes. This ongoing process ensures your business stays relevant and continues to meet the needs of your community. By following these steps, market research, niche down, and testing, you'll validate your business idea, build a strong foundation for success, and avoid costly mistakes. In the next video, we'll tackle another major hurdle, financing your Black-owned business. We'll explore alternative funding options and budgeting tips to keep your hustle flowing. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please share this video for more gems on building your Black-owned empire. Let me know in the comments below what challenges are you facing when it comes to getting your business off the ground. And as always, remember to stay unbothered.